So, I mean, I have a camera that I've been working with for the last, oh God knows, um, 25 years, I think I've had it. It's my 35 mil. I take everywhere with me, as you can see, it's really damaged. Part, so it's nice will be to photograph my parents. I come from a very large family. I've got uh, nine brothers and sister. My parents are not educated people. They come from the countryside in Algeria that was colonized by the French at the time. This has um, films that I've been making of 16 mil film, but this one are 35 mil films. All my negatives are here. Here is my dad, as you can see, is everywhere. My family is everywhere. My work has always dealt with the autobiographical. In the early 90s, I became a mother and I started exploring this idea of transmission. How do you pass on to your children culture, tradition? It was interesting for me then to do a piece of work around three generations of women. My mother born in, uh, in Algeria, myself in France and my daughter in England. In the piece, Mother Tongue is very much about three languages spoken in one family, Arabic, French, and English, but it's also about the non-possibility of communication through those languages. What time did he finish? We finished at 4 hours. So you see, we start early and we finish. grandmother and granddaughter, they would attempt to speak to each other in their own language, which is Arabic and English, and obviously they can't. And they need me, I become me, the, the interpreter, the mediator, the transmitter of that kind of relationship. I came in the UK when I was in my early 20s. The eyes, the picture of the eyes, it's my eyes. A whole street here called Double Lane had the artist commission to make art for the front of the shops, really. So I was very happy myself to contribute also to the community, to the shop. I've been living in Brixton for almost 30 years now. At the time, being a French Algerian in London, I was a bit lost in terms of my Algerian identity. I was also removed from it. So when I came here, I got really interested in the black art movement. That movement was based on a colonial uh, relationship of England to its colonies. There is no real places, places that we I used to hang no. out in when I started making no. art. You know, no. one of the places is um is, uh, is the Black Cultural Archives. Oh yeah, because we used to go downstairs yeah. for the bunker. One of the common that? ground, I guess, was racism. This experience of being an immigrant, or a child of an immigrant, how it felt. Perhaps it's not surprising that I've based myself in London, in Brixton. It just felt like home, really. So this is my studio. I've been here two years. Um, I'm waiting to be rehoused into something bigger. But this is basically where everything is happening. I do a lot of reading, a lot of research. As you can see, I'm kind of playing along with the idea of collages by uh, having a, a large image and perhaps a smaller one. And because a lot of my work has been around the idea of immigration and travel, and this started uh, looking at the immigration of my parents in the early 60s from Algeria to Paris, and they had to do that um, by boat, crossing the Mediterranean Sea. Done some work around the shipwreck, and that kind of prompted a whole body of work around the death of, what I call the death of a journey, the non-mobility, the non-possibility of, of traveling, perhaps. A lot of things happen within the resin, some cracks and bubbles, and so there is a kind of movement within that. Although it's dead, the boat is dead, um, there's still movement within the resin. We tend to think that uh, 
the immigration uh, situation only happened recently. But in Algeria, as far as I, you know, as long as I can think of, there have always been some young boys trying to escape from Algeria to go to France or to Spain. I always felt that to understand the themes perhaps of immigration, it was by showing the personal that you could understand to which political extent it might have affected and in which way it had affected people. So for me, in every work I do, there is always a personal because the personal is political for me.